Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I finished spreading the muck and I'm just bringing some bales in now with a manatee. So I'm just trying it out on the farm, doing lots of different jobs with it. And I'll take you guys with me, just picking up these bales with the MLT 741 here. Okay guys, so here we go. Oh, hope everyone's having a nice weekend. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd do something a bit different today and do a, a head cam or a GoPro video for you guys. I'm just gonna make sure that the hydraulics are on the grab there. Pick up these bales. So using the JSM joystick here, I think I've spiked into this bale, yeah, way too far. <laughs> That's the trouble with these tines, they're absolutely massive, absolutely massive for uh, moving muck around. And they're quite difficult, to be fair, to get into tightly packed round bales. Uh, so sometimes I'll just use the grab, like that, and then just use the, the top of the grab to just grab a hold of them like that. Whee! There we go. And that seems to work pretty well. Just put those that side and then I'll pick this one up as well. Yeah, I'm really getting on well with this Manitou. The ergonomics of the cab, the joystick, the great visibility out of the front. Probably one of the best cabs, actually, I've, uh, I've sat in and, and driven in, uh, in terms of visibility. And just the ergonomics, like I said, of the joystick, the way you can go forwards and backwards, it is just effortless with this really light switch here, this toggle switch. these bales and this pile are a bit wet because they've been out for quite quite some time and they were baled fairly tightly as well and it's created this sort of cardboard like straw and I bet that bales just fallen off mate. so what I'm gonna do again just come in pick them up at the top of the grab rather than spiking them because if you spike them I'm just being a bit of a devil at the moment Another bale for around the side, I reckon. Ideally, you'd have a, like a twin spike with this of some description, so you could uh, pick up two bales at a time with like a two single spikes, or a pair of two up and down twin spikes. It's going a bit warm in here. I can just put the electric window down and it, all, it goes down the whole way as well, which is pretty cool because I think on some previous Manitou's it would stop about there, but now it goes all the way down, which is quite handy. Right, so I'm going to grab one bale for the top, grab it from the top, and then drop it in like an arcade machine. There we go. Lovely. It's got a decent amount of uh, hydraulic output on this machine. It's got the 170 litre a minute pump and that's partly why the boom's so quick. It's also as well got regenerative hydraulics, so it uses gravity to lower the boom down and then hydraulics to push them up, push the boom up, sorry. And it works, it works pretty well. For some reason, I can always put two in that ladder at the front and they just sit in there very snugly. And then I put a line of just ones down the back and it seems to work out pretty well. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 14 bales left. And then that will be this field cleared of bales. So it will then be going into its next crop, which I believe oh, is carrots. and then just to let them know he's boss. There you go. There you go, Bale. Just sit there. And then for the back, what I do is I'll go up to the side of the straw stack. Check this out, guys. I'll just grab, like, a couple. Okay guys, so I'm fully loaded on the back. The straw on the back is for bedding down the cattle in the yards. And as you can see on the front, I've just got a couple of bales there, just on the front of the muck crab. And this straw will be used off the trailer as and when we need it for bedding down the cattle uh, throughout the rest of the winter. And we haven't really got too many weeks now until the cattle will start to go back out to the marshes. And there we go guys, so I've packed up for the day, put the manatee away. Like I said, all of the muck spreading's been done. I've just got some cultivating to do now, and then this week we'll be drilling the spring barley. Um, the manatee, I know I keep saying it, but I have been very, very impressed with it uh, over these last few days of trying it. And tomorrow I'm gonna be loading a bit of wood chip with it around the farm as well. But something which a lot of people forget about the manatees, I think, uh, when you when you try them, is just that the way that your hand sits on the JSM joystick, it's very, very com nice to use, and it's quite comfortable. I feel as though if you were to spend a, a long amount of time in a Manitou, or particularly the MLTs, I feel as though it would be quite a comfortable day. And the seat in it as well is actually quite comfortable. It's a grammar seat, which is similar to the ones in other tractors, you know, like John Deere, for example. It's a higher end telehandler. It's not a, a lower end model. It's, it's a premium model for people who are serious about uh, telehandlers and for handling materials for um, long periods of time. For example, if you were a straw, a straw merchant farmer or if you were uh, a, quite a big uh, muck spreading contractor, for example, you'd probably look at a Manitou um, if you're, if you're uh, serious about your telehandlers um, because that is really quite a specialist piece of equipment and um, I've, it's safe to say I've, I've definitely fallen in love with it, that's for sure. So stay tuned, I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm going to be posting a bit more regularly now. I currently do the Sunday video, so I'm going to try and do uh, another one in the week at some point and maybe two a week so that I could then be doing three every week which would, pro would probably be quite nice for you guys because I've had a lot of requests uh, from a lot of you from a lot of you guys to do uh, more frequent videos or to do a few more so I'm going to try and make that happen guys keep watching stay tuned subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I will catch you on the next one